This is a PS4 controller, also known as the DualShock 4. This particular PS4 controller has some drifting issues. I'm currently connected to my phone so I can illustrate it in Minecraft. Loading into a world, yay. So it's hard to show on camera what exactly is wrong with it, but it is tilting a little bit to the left, because I'm only trying to go up and down here. But it's tilting me a little bit to the left. Oh no, okay, I did that one. Okay, um, I am going to take it apart and I'm going to try and fix it anyway because this is from a friend and I've already done one controller for him and they tend to be pretty grimy on the inside so I'm just going to clean it. So yeah, let's take it apart. He has sent me footage of it drifting so if I can find that I'll show you. But if not, you're just going to have to trust me on this. So I might have to title this cleaning a PS4 controller rather than PS4 controller with drift. Guess we'll find out. First, remove the screws. Burr, 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 burr. So from what I can tell, this controller is only just starting to show the issue, which could be due to the amount of dust on these sticks, or it could be something else on the inside, which wouldn't be very good. So I'm going to continue taking the screws out, and we'll have a look. A good like 50% of these controllers, they will carry on working after you just use compressed air in here, but I'm cl I'm cleaning it out too, so might as well take it all the way apart. I've got the back off almost, but I need to remove the battery. Oh wow, this is giving some serious fight. And I dislodged one of the triggers, that's fun. Just gotta take out this little thing at the back with the light bar. Don't wanna break that, that's fragile. Clip the trigger back in, so we're all good. Battery. The middle screw. Got this thing. Everything has now been removed from the front shell, which seems to be pretty clean, so I don't think I'm going to need to clean that. I'm going to pull off these sticks and I'm going to clean them. So in this one, I don't see that much dust at all. So it could be really fine and it could be really deep in there. However, there is a little tiny string of it there, which could be causing the flick to the left. Be sure to use isopropyl alcohol or another alcohol-based substance, such as hand sanitizer which seems to work for me, but apparently people don't like it when I use that, so I'm just going to continue cleaning it out. I don't want to off pop. Clean it out. Blah. The surface dust. Put it back on. Blah, 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 blah. Put it back in. Put it back in the kiss. What I did here is what you should do secondly, if your controller doesn't work after being cleaned with compressed air. So although it's more reliable, it's more difficult to do. Let's put it back together and test it. That what? That what again? Did some testing. Everything works now. That's good. Happy. Uh, here's a little screen capture of it working. Um, my iPhone 7 died, but yeah, so here's just some footage of it working, you can probably hear it. You're probably going to want more proof, so I am just going to video for like a second on my iPhone 7 when it's charged. It works now.